All right, here's a uh, here's the uh, slag that builds up underneath the uh, steel. Uh, these are from several different runs. You can see it intermingled with charcoal and uh, ash, sand. I think it's interesting to note that there is a little bit of iron mixed in. Uh, some of these pieces were sitting out in the rain. Um, this piece down here was not. Though they don't, they don't appear magnetic. Um, but there is just enough to create a little bit of rust. Just a little bit, but not much. But I think that's the key, really, is uh, getting ironless slag to be on the bottom and everything, all the good stuff on top. Uh, it's on top of this slag that the steel forms and builds and builds and builds, and that's what I separate off uh, in the furnace. So this is what's below it, that's what's left over. I dig them out after it's cooled off and uh, yeah they look pretty gnarly um, you can kind of see the bottom some of these you, know, you can see how it's melted into sand see that see the layering it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a uh, like a greenish blue. Very interesting. But uh, I will continue the research and keep on with this solution of creating a high carbon steel with bloom. And uh, catch you later.